Hi guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about ways to improve your life, ways to improve your self-esteem and improve your self-love journey to be happier with yourself and ultimately live a happier life. So I guess we'll just get right into it. So the very first step that I think that you guys should take, and myself included, is to stop the negative self-talk. It is absolutely destructive to your health and to your mind and body, and we have to make it stop. It is not good for us. Instead of saying things like, I am ugly, I am fat, I am incapable, I am unworthy of loving, instead of saying things that are so negative, we should really be saying more things that are positive, just positive affirmations towards ourselves. Even if you don't even believe it, just say it anyway, just keep saying it and the more you say it, the more you will believe it and the better you'll feel about it all. And the happier you'll be and the more confident you'll feel in yourself no matter what's happening around you. So instead of saying the negative things, try more positive things like, I am capable, I am strong, I am empowered, I am beautiful, I am ready. Eventually, we will believe it and we'll feel better about ourselves inside. The second thing that I have to say about ways to help improve your self-love journey is to do things that make you happy in life. And I know this may seem so silly and cliche or whatever, but throw that out the window. Doing things that make you happy in life, it makes you feel good. It makes you feel confident and passionate and excited about life. People need more of that. I mean, I think a lot of us get stuck in the daily routine. You wake up, you go to school, go to work, whatever, and each day is the same. But if you throw in your routine, something that you love to do, it just adds that excitement and passion back into your life and it ultimately just makes you feel really good and that's the goal of all this self-love talk is just to make you feel happier and realize that you are special and you are worthy of doing amazing things and you have incredible purpose just doing what you love that will help bring your purpose into the world oh and another thing do not live for others live for yourself don't do what your mom or your brother or your sister or your friend wants you to do. Make sure that you take steps towards building the life that you want and what you think is right for you because nobody knows your body or what you want in life more than you. And I truly believe that God has given us a calling in life and if you have a passion for something, it's because God has a future for you with it. So don't waste the talents that God has given you and ultimately it's you who makes the decisions and it's you that needs to live out the life that you have been called for. Number three, let go of things that you have no control over. I know this is a very difficult one. I personally have a very hard time with this because before I was sick, I was a perfectionist and I liked having control over what was happening in my life and I liked having a plan and just set things like set in stone for my life. I just felt very in control of things. And of course, after I got sick, it's like all that went down the drain. <laughs> and unfortunately, I still have that perfectionist like personality and I have that trait in me so with being sick I get a little frustrated at times when I can't control things and when I feel like I'm in control and then things get crazy and I end up in the hospital or something it's just a crazy whirlwind of emotions for me because I always feel like I'm about to grasp that control and then it slips out of my fingertips I think the best way to get rid of that frustration and get rid of that longing uh, for control is to just let things happen as they should kind of grasp that go with the flow of personality and try to just be happy with whatever does come your way and if things go your way it's amazing and it's awesome and if things don't go as planned then at least you're not as upset and as frustrated about the situation or about yourself and of course, if you do get frustrated, it does bring down your self-esteem and it makes you not like yourself as much because you feel like your body may have failed you 
because you're not able to do what you want to do. So it's definitely important to kind of just let things kind of happen as they should and just to know that whatever does happen is the best for you. My fourth tip is to be in each moment completely and 100% all in. And this creates a very grateful and thankful heart and it just makes you enjoy each moment and it makes you appreciate each moment whether it's with your friends or your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your family or just spending time by yourself you never get you know the same moment again and you never know how much time you have here so it's really important to grasp the understanding that each moment is truly a gift and it really brings a happy and grateful heart and that's just such a wonderful trait to have in your life so just turn off your phone for like an hour or half hour whatever it may be when you're with somebody and just be in the moment 100 percent the fifth thing that i want to talk about is to not compare yourself or your journey to anybody else and I know it's extremely difficult when people around you are moving ahead in life a lot quicker than you are and especially with social media how like blown up it's gotten um, we're constantly seeing people's big milestones in life and pictures of things and it just makes you feel uh, like your life isn't that great and in that aspect I do not like social media at all I don't think it's very healthy but anyway that's a different topic so don't compare yourself or your life because your moments will come and you have to remember that everybody gets places in life at different speeds and if you're going slowly it's okay each little step of progress is still progress so don't forget to give yourself credit for how far you've come and just you know celebrate your victories be happy for others and just know that you're gonna be okay. Your life is gonna unfold beautifully. Just take time, take patience in, and just trust your journey. Last thing that I wanna talk about is to find the blessings in disguise. And this is so important with self-love and your self-esteem and overall happiness of life because everybody is gonna struggle. Everybody is gonna have suffering and everybody's gonna have just times of trial and difficulty. Nobody is exempt from that in life, unfortunately. But through those obstacles are amazing lessons and blessings if you just choose to see them. It is really difficult sometimes, but if you just try to have like an outer body experience, you know, and like take a step back and just look at the big picture, you'll see that these obstacles are making you stronger, they're making you appreciate life, they're making you enjoy the little things. It's actually making your life better. Even the most terrible things do have a glimpse of hope or a little shining bright light of beauty. You just have to really look for it. Just remember that each day may hold many difficulties, but each day also holds a lot of blessings and opportunities and beauty around you. So choose to see those things. Don't just get stuck on the negative. Try to, again, think of positive. Look for the positive. And I promise it is there. Just keep looking. And it takes practice and it takes time. But again, if you just try, that's all that matters and eventually it will become a habit. It'll make you happier and more confident and it'll just make you feel better about your life, which will ultimately make you feel really good about yourself. All right guys, so that is the end of the video. I hope that you guys enjoyed these tips and tricks to helping improve your life and helping to make you happier and to improve your self-love journey. Don't let your self-love journey stop here. You know, keep taking steps to better yourself and better your life each day. And leave in the comments things that you want to do to help improve your life. It is a difficult ride, but you're not alone. I'm here too, we all struggle with it. I'm no professional, <laughs> clearly, but I think it's so important to take steps to bettering yourself. And if you're taking steps to to better yourself, you are winning. You're doing amazing because you're doing more than you did yesterday, right? 
Just remember to love who you are, trust your journey, and never give up on yourself because you have amazing things in store for your life. All right, you guys, I'll talk to you guys later, and I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Bye, big hugs.